How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Anvil's Lock Lab. Uh, today we have a cross between two of my favorite hobbies, uh, Holly Davidson motorcycles and lock picking. And this is a number 20, uh, 220, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get that in view for you. I know it's really hard to see. Number 220, made by the Master Lock Company. I know it's a Master Lock, but it's pretty beefy. And uh, just see what the, uh, it says case hardened, which um, to me, case hardened means that there is a soft core inside this giant uh, steel uh, shackle. Let's just see how big that shackle is. Eleven millimeter, just over eleven millimeters. Yep. Uh, the thickness of it, twenty-three millimeters by approximately forty-nine. Call it 50 millimeter body. I don't have a key for it. I believe it's the M10 keyway. M10 if I'm right. Uh, let's see what it takes to get this sucker picked. Try to do it so you guys get a good view. And use top of the keyway with a medium hook. The light kind of sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a little bit better, maybe. Doing too well so far here. Yeah. Let's recock it. Give that another shot. Get a good click out of number four there. Seems to be the problem here. That's part of the problem. So you'd think this master lock would fly open, wouldn't you? I believe this padlock is was bought somewhere around 1984. It's uh, mainly 
on the old Harley, old Harley Davidsons, they were mainly used to lock the uh, the neck of the steering column of the motorcycle, or or chain it up, or throw it through a uh, a rotor or something like that. I've even some, seen some guys with the that have chain drive motorcycles. Put them right around the chain. But. to lock this thing's putting up a little bit of a fight there isn't it must be oversetting something here Snap, that took way longer than I expected. And to be honest with you, um, I never checked the pins to see exactly how many pins were in there. Four pins, it feels like. Okay. And you, know, you see down there, I get my flashlight. And that looks like a rivet. That looks like a rivet in there, guys. Uh, I know it's hard for you to see it, but that'll help a little. Uh, bear with me one second. And I will see if I can get a uh, Allen wrench in there. Which I don't think I'll be able to. We'll give it a shot. Here we go here. That's all right. What do you know about that? I was wrong. I think it was just so smashed up. It used to look like it was smashed up anyway. You'll be able to tell better in a second when I get this out of here. Uh, I've never taken one of these apart, so bear with me. I know we're getting up there in time. Yep, and it's just a standard. Nasty, greasy Allen wrench. Perfect. Wipe some of the grease off that baby. Okay. Let's see how this bottom comes off. Look at that. Isn't that special? Wow. Look at that, huh? Wipe off some of this grease here. Look at that. I have never seen anything like that before. And it appears to have... Let me get my... Uh, Generic paint tray right here. Wipe off some of this grease. 
definitely oiled up some. Sorry if I'm out of focus there, out of view. I apologize. Now, what do you make of that? Some kind of anti-drill pins or anything like that. Now, I have never seen... And this is a five pin. Look at the size of that block that holds that in. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with that. I know this is running a little bit long. I apologize. see if we can we'll start by doing it this way we'll dump the pins out through the top if I can Maybe the front well that ain't gonna work so good there's one and two I don't believe there's any security pins in there. And the other one's over here. Oh, look at the oil on that son of a bitch. I think I was going to be able to, um, there we go, there's the last pin, real shorty and real greasy. doesn't appear it does not appear to be any kind of clip on there and there isn't there is no clip on there okay imagine that no clip all right Trying to do this as fast as possible for you guys. I apologize. All right, let's see what we have for the five. And it's also got some numbers on the side here. One zero L one seven one, whatever that means. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, I fucked it up. Well, don't tell me I jammed up this lock. I'll be pill shit. think there was any groove there to catch that on but I guess there is a 
Well, anyway, I guess that's it for today. Sorry, guys, I couldn't finish off the rest of that for you. But... I just think it's so impressive the size of that that uh, block that holds the kick cylinder in there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please hit that like button and if you like what you see, please um, please hit subscribe. I am going to find a way to fix this somehow or another. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Gary Anvil. The Anvil Lock Lab, ruining one of my favorite locks. We'll fix it. We'll find a way. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.